happens. We, of course, will bring that to you live. And now to the latest on Hurricane Ian. It has now been downgraded to a tropical storm, but not before it slammed into Florida's southwest coast. The hurricane devastated so much of the area in Sanibel Island. Part of the causeway destroyed, cutting off access to that barrier island. Streets were turned into rivers, and now that the storm surge is receding, you can really see the damage here. The pictures coming out of Fort Myers Beach, just incredibly heartbreaking. Homes and trailers completely just wiped out, cars overturned, debris just everywhere. This is just the start of what these communities will be dealing with for months, if not years. We have team coverage on the ground in Fort Myers, and John Elliott is tracking what's next with the storm. Let's begin with Dick Brennan with the latest details. Dick? Reports of 15 people dead, but President Biden says there are early reports and estimates of substantial loss of life. Now, emergency crews in the meantime are struggling to get to hard-hit areas, although they've already rescued some 500 people. So much of Fort Myers has been flattened. Structures were no match for 150 mile an hour winds. From the air, you see the extent of the devastation. Ian slammed ashore yesterday along Florida's southwest coast, and a storm surge quickly overwhelmed cities in the bullseye. Some are still underwater, like Kissimmee, where rescues are still underway. Others who rode out the storm lost everything, including their homes. Being so hardworking honestly doesn't matter. It just is destroyed and it's ruined. And then you have to start all over again. And honestly, where do you start? How do you start in this? Patrick and Ann Giovanni are originally from New York and did not evacuate from their home in Orlando. Do you wish you had left? Uh, no. No? No, I have two cats here. What? What good does it do for me to leave? But hundreds who stayed in their homes are believed to be trapped and waiting for rescue. A key for first responders is getting flood victims to higher ground. I feel a lot better. My brother just finished getting rescue. Those who are in need of, of life, uh, life support right now, help is on the way. But it's difficult even for the rescuers to get around. Ian wiped out a section of the causeway to Sanibel Island and left behind massive flooding there. Are you guys okay? Naples was also hit hard. Cell phone video shows firefighters wading through chest deep water to rescue one woman, and this woman was stuck in her car. Once again, firefighters waded to the rescue. People here were surprised at how quickly the water rose around them. It came in very fast. I was awake last night, and it was still in the road around six, and by seven, it was up to the first stair down here. So the, it did rise very fast. First responders are putting their lives on the line in so many ways, and in one that you might not have thought of, they've been told there could be gators in the water. What do you do if that happens? Get back in the boat. Back. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, get back in the boat. Now, 2.5 million people are without power. Some good news, though, Disney World said it would begin reopening theme parks tomorrow in what they called a phased approach. Maurice and Christine. Okay, Dick. Dick, thank you. Thank you.